Howdy! Welcome to Aspire Mountain Academy. I'm Professor Curtis, your instructor for this course in Introductory Statistics. In less than 10 minutes, this video provides more insight into using the binomial distribution to calculate probabilities. Let's get started. Let's suppose we have a bag of marbles and inside the bag there's 15 marbles. One of these 15 marbles is green and the remaining 14 marbles are white. We're going to draw each of these marbles without replacement. Okay, so each marble we take out, we do not put back in the bag. So, given these parameters, what is the probability of drawing the green marble first? Well, we know how to calculate this. Just take the part and put it over the hole. So, there's one green marble in the bag. That's the part, over 15 total. This is the probability of drawing the green marble first. Now, what's the probability of drawing the green marble second? Well, we also know how to calculate this. Again, it's the part over the hole for each trial. So, the first trial, there's going to, we're going to draw a white marble because there's only one green marble in the bag. So, the first one we draw, if the second one is going to be green, that means the first one has to be white. There's 14 white marbles in the bag out of 15 total. So, that's the first trial. And then the second trial, we're going to have one green marble, that's the part, but we didn't put the first marble back in the bag because we're drawing them without replacement. So now there's 14 marbles total. So the part over the hole here for the second trial is 1 over 14. We multiply this together, the 14s cancel, leaving us with 1 over 15, just what we had before. Now, what is the probability of drawing the green marble last? Again, we can calculate this probability. We're going to take the first marble is going to be white. So it's going to be 14 over 15. We don't put that back in the bag. So then the second trial that we have here, there's going to be 13 white marbles in the bag out of 14 total. So then the last marble, which is going to be the green one, there's only one of them in the bag out of 13 total. We multiply all this together, the 14s cancel, the 13s cancel, and again we're left with 1 over 15. Now, what's the probability that you will draw exactly one green marble in three trials? Well, this is the same as saying we're looking for the probability of drawing the green marble first, or the green marble second, or the green marble last. We know that OR calls for the addition rule. So we're going to take each of these probabilities that we just calculated and add them together. And when we do that, we get 3 over 15, which reduces to 1 over 5, which is the same as 20%. This then is the probability you're going to draw one green marble in, a, in three trials. Note that if you try working this with the binomial distribution, you're not going to give the, the right answer. So the reason for that is because you're sampling without replacement. So when you are sampling without replacement, you cannot use the binomial distribution to solve for your probabilities. Now let's switch it up a bit. Same bag, same marbles, but now we're going to select them with replacement. So each marble we, put, we take out, we're going to put back in the bag. So the probability of drawing the green marble first remains the same as it was before, 1 over 15. But now the probability of drawing the green marble second is going to change because we're sampling with replacement. So when we put that first marble back in the bag, now there's 15 marbles total so the whole part of that second trial probability is going to change. So when we multiply this together, we're going to get 14 over 225. The probability of drawing the green marble last is also going to change. So again, we're going to calculate it this way. Since we're putting each marble back in the bag, the first two probabilities are the same. The probability of selecting a white marble. And then the last trial, the third one, that's going to be the probability of getting the green marble. We multiply all this out, and we get 196 over 3375. 
What then is the probability you're going to draw exactly one green marble in three trials? Well, here we actually can use the binomial distribution to solve because we're actually selecting with replacement. So because we're selecting with replacement, we can use our binomial distribution. And the easiest way to do that is just to use the calculator in StatCrunch. So here's our binomial calculator in StatCrunch. Notice we put in the parameters for our problem. So we've got three trials, so n is three. The probability of success is one over 15. So I put that probability here. We want the probability of getting one green marble in three trials, so equals one. Hit compute, and out comes my answer there. We can also use the binomial distribution table if we want. <clears throat> so first we find the section for the number of trials we're looking at. That's going to be the three. So we're looking for our answer somewhere here in this section. Next we find the row for the number of successes. We want one success in three trials. So that's going to be this row here with the one on the far left. Next, we're going to find the column with the probability of success we want. Our probability of success is 1 15th, which is a number that's in between 0 0.05 and 0 0.1. There's no specific column for 0 0.067. So the way we find this is by a method called interpolation. So the way we set this up is we look for the intersection that marks the values of interest. In this case, we have two values, and so we're going to interpolate between those two values, 0.135 and 0.243. The probability we want is somewhere in between those two numbers. Which number exactly is it? Well, let's find out. First, we have to set up our interpolation, and this is the way we do it. We set it up with a ratio. So the 0 0.067 is the probability that we want up here in the heading it's not appearing. So what we do is we take the distance between where that column would be and the column on the left, which is the 0 0.05, and then we divide that by the difference between that column we're looking for here in the middle and the 0.1. This then is a ratio that is going to hold true. If it holds true up here, it's going to hold true down here between these two numbers of interest circled in the green. So we set up a a, a ratio proportionality that's the same way we set up the other one. And now that we've got this set up, now we've got what we need. What we do is crunch the numbers and solve for P. And that gives us the probability that we want. And when we do that, we get 0.172. Notice this is slightly different than what we calculated earlier with StackCrunch, the 0.174. We're still in the same neighborhood. So, for most practical purposes, the table and using interpolation, which is a very old school technique, is very suitable. But since StackCrunch is so easy to use for this distribution stuff, it's, it's, just, it's just a lot better and easier to get a more exact number out because what StackCrunch is doing, it's using that equation for the binomial distribution and calculating that out in the background. So by all means, you know, if you have to if you have to interpolate, forget the table. Just go use StackCrunch and get the exact value. If you want to go old school, I mean you can. The number you're going to get is not going to be exactly the same, but it'll be close enough for government work. And that brings us to the end of this mini lecture. I hope you found it helpful. You can find more mini lectures for this and other courses at aspiremountainacademy.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.